Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Ubiquity just released the Unify OS for the Dream Machine Pro and the base Dream Machine. So this version is 1.10.0. In this video, we're just gonna read through the list of the changes and how to manually push the upgrade to your UDM. This is a rolling release, so you might not see it yet, but if you want it faster, you can manually push it. Also, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to just read through the improvement and the bug fixes instead of watching this video. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord and Amazon storefront and I'll put the link in the description below. First thing we'll do, I'll show you how to manually push this update to your UDM Pro or your UDM base model. So what we need to do, we need to go over to our UDM and then we need to go to system settings. We could already see that I'm on 1.10 and when we're in our settings, we wanna to go to advanced and from here we wanna turn on SSH and you need to put in a password for SSH. Now we have to log in through an SSH session. So we'll open up PuTTY and then we'll go to our UDM. So 192.168.10.1 and press open. From here, we'll log in as root and then we're gonna put in the SSH password that we created. All right, now we're into our dream machine and we have to run the command ubnt-upgrade and then we need to specify the firmware file path. And where you find that, you go to the Ubiquity downloads and I'll leave a link for this. And then we have two different files. So this is for the Dream Machine Pro and this is for the base Dream Machine. I have the Dream Machine Pro, so I'll click on the download and then we'll press accept. This is the URL that we would wanna copy. So you could press copy, go back to PuTTY and then just right click. Once you have this bin file in, you're gonna to wanna to press enter and that will upgrade your firmware. I'm not gonna press enter as this is already up to date, but this is the command that you're gonna to want to run. And once you're done with that PuTTY session, I would advise to go back to UDM Pro and turn off SSH. Now let's take a look at some of the updates in the bug fixes. So 1.10.0 comes bundled with Unify Network 6.2.26, Unify Protect 1.18.1, Unify Talk 1.11.6 and Unify Access 1.3.31. There's a little blurb here about smart queues. If your connection is less than 300 megabits per second, it will automatically turn on. If you want to turn it off, you go to Settings, Internet, WAN, Networks, WAN, Common Settings, and then Enable Smart Queues. Right at the top, we could see that it's patched a bunch of open SSL vulnerabilities. So we have a bunch of CVEs at the top. It integrates the wireless fixes and improvements for UAPs on release 5.60.1. And I believe this is just a DHCP fix. It upgrades the unified Dream Machine kernel to 4.19. It adds breadcrumb navigation in the portal. And then it adds automatic DNS forwarding for open VPN tunnels. It adds backup management at account.ui.com. And I'll show you those backups. We could backup right from our UDM to account.ui.com. So these backups go into the cloud. And it also gives us the abilities from our UDM to download right in our settings page, our backups. It improves the precision of the discoverability using LLDP and then it approves traffic shaping. It also has some improvements for DPI and cloud backup restore improvements. And then under bug fixes, we have a pretty long list. I'm not gonna go over them all, but one main one is fix an occasional WAN flapping issue. Obviously we don't want our WAN flapping or our internet goes down. They also improve the stability of the VPNs. So under known issues, we have a PPPoE throughput that could affect when IPS and IDS are enabled. So myself, I use PPPoE. Right now I have IDS and IPS turned on. I'm gonna do a speed test and we'll see if there's any difference when we turn it on or off. Okay, so let's do a speed test with IPS turned on and see the speeds we're getting. I do have a gigabit connection up and down, but I know there is issues with PPPoE where you don't get your full speeds. I'm gonna press go and we'll see what we get. All right, so our download is 417, which is under half of what I pay for. And then our upload was 742. Let's turn off threat management and see if that gets any better. Threat management is now turned off and let's do that speed test. All right, so we're getting about 100 megabits per second faster speed for our download. We're at 550 down and 621 up. I hope they get this fixed soon because I do like the higher speeds of what I pay for. Now let me show you the cloud backups for our config files. I know a lot of people don't like to do things in the cloud, but I'll show you how you could use it. 
So we'll go to my UDM Pro, and I believe this is only available on the Pro model right now. So we'll go to my Mac Telecom UDM, and then we'll go to System Settings. When you're in System Settings, you need to make sure that you have Remote Access enabled, and then we could scroll down to the bottom. Here we have a backup config. So store backup files containing your Unify application configuration, general Unify OS settings, and user roles. Currently, this feature is only supported by the network application, and then we could click on Backup Console. We'll have to put in our password for a single sign-on. Once our password in 2FA is entered, we could see that we have our backup options. So we could backup now, and this will bring that backup file to your cloud account, or we could do it on a scheduler. So you could do it every week, and every week this backup will go to the account.ui.com, and we could also download the backup file. If we take a look at myaccount.ui.com, we could see there's no cloud backups. Now back at the UDM Pro, I'll press backup, and we could see UDM Pro was successfully backed up. Now, if we go back to account.ui.com, we should see that backup. And there you have it. We have my backup for my UDMP July 12th at 8.43 a.m., which is the time right now. So it is a cool feature, but that's if you trust the cloud. One other feature that seems to be working, which I've been asking for a while, is the ability to see what clients are connected to your VPN. Usually when the client connect to the VPN, it would never show up in this list. Now I have a filter set for VPN. We can see that there's zero there, but I'm gonna connect through my phone and that should change. And there you go, it came up almost instantly. We could see our VPN user, the name is Cody. And then if you had other users connected through your VPN, you could have it listed. I'm glad this feature seems to be working because if I had multiple people connecting to my VPN, I would wanna see who's on it at any given time. That's it for this video. They didn't do really any UI changes, so we're not gonna go through anything else. But if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.